When I was young, I didn't want to be a teacher. I didn't major in education, yet I always wanted to be near teachers. I was close to my grandmother, a teacher. My friends are teachers. I married a teacher. So why am I so drawn to teachers? I'm drawn to those who inspire, to those who see potential and lift it up, to those who get excited about bringing out the best of others around them. Of course, I had to be a teacher. Today, I lead a project called Invest, Influence, Inspire, Equals Ignite, working to lift up and retain first and second year teachers. I've been teaching for 25 years, an academic coach for five. I am a national board certified teacher. I am a master teacher. I am passionate about teaching and teachers. I am Christy Olson and I am a teacher leader. The crisis in Arizona is that we are losing teachers, amazing teachers by the droves because they cannot afford to live and maintain a moderate lifestyle in this state. They can't survive. And so I realized that my influence could go beyond the walls of this elementary school. We started the professional learning communities for first year teachers, second year teachers, and mentor teachers at the beginning of the year. Then in about December, we were able to apply for the master teacher grant. And this master teacher grant provided funding for us to really develop this mentor program into even a more streamlined, successful program where we could put master teachers in with first year and second year teachers. We've gone from 11 teachers who are board certified to eight candidates this year, and I have 28 teachers who next year have committed to national board certification, and some of these teachers are finishing up their third year of teaching. So these are teachers who can already see their own potential of, I can be a board certified teacher. I think that the only way we will get out of this crisis in Arizona is through the voices of teacher leaders. People have got to stand up for their profession and they've got to stand up for children and teachers. Our voices have to be heard.